Hey everybody, welcome to Shovel Knight. So Shovel Knight is a game I've been excited to play for some time. It's a game by Yacht Club Games, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. And it is a 2D action platformer, kind of in the vein of something like, say, Mega Man or Super Mario Bros. 3, or even um, the second Zelda game. Crossed with some kind of newer stuff, it kind of reminds me of Dark Souls in places, and that's nothing about the difficulty, there's actually genuinely kind of Dark Souls-y type things going on. But um, yeah, it's a game that's going to be released today for PC, um, for Wii U, and for 3DS, I believe. And it's going to be the price of $15, I'm not sure how much that is in pounds, but certainly you'll be able to see. The links will be in the description below for the store pages, Humble, Steam, so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, so basically you play as a knight, a shovel knight, you're skilled in the long forgotten art of chivalry. And you're basically like cast to a land to defeat the enchantress and to rescue your beloved, I believe, is the kind of general idea of what's going on. I've played about four hours of this already, so I've nearly finished the full game. And um, yeah, it's living up to my expectations in a big way. Like, I'm really, really impressed with the game. So we'll look at the options menu firstly. Um, one of the first things that I love... Resolution settings, such a simple thing, but so beautiful. I, I enjoy resolution settings in games that are pixel arty. Um, it should be a feature of all games. You should be able to set your window size. That's just how it should be. You can also scale the screen to, to your desire. Um, you've got V-Sync. Um, obviously, your full screen turned on or off. Um, usual audio sliders. Controls. You can use keyboard, mouse. Um, or, of course, or I think it's just keyboard. And then you can use your controller. Um, I'm using the gamepad because platformer gamepad makes sense. So what we'll do, we'll go and we'll start game, we'll start a new game. Um, as you can see here, the, this is the main save that I've been playing on. I've got nearly three hours of, like, consistent play, but it's um, four hours total game time of me just messing about. I don't want to show any of that. They asked specifically that we didn't show any kind of late game stuff, so I don't want to do that. We'll just start a new game. And, um, of course, we'll name our Shovel Knight the best name of all time, of course. I think I've done that on both. Yeah, I did okay. And we'll go and we'll play. And um, before we start, I just want to cover off a few things. So the game pixel art is very nice, very pretty, but the music is fantastic. The music, there's particular sections in the game where the music totally like took me aback. I was like, I must have this. I think the guy that done the music is called Vert or um, V I R T. Um, he made the music for this, and it's absolutely like 500 thumbs up. Anyway, we'll go, we'll start, and we'll play the game. See what it's all about. So we've got cutscenes, things. Well, you can call this a cutscene, I suppose. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Knights with shovels. Mm-hmm. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate. Of course they would, um, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. Mm-hmm. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower has sealed, and Shield Knight is gone. No, oh, Shield Knight! <laughs> I, I just love the idea of having a, a shovel. Anyway, his spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. Farming and such. Love how he didn't take his armor off. Um, but without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Like a group of knights, basically, that we're going to fight along the way. Now the tower is unsealed and the devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Exciting stuff. We have our shovel at hand to do some digging. And we do legit do digging. That's what we use our shovel for. Dig in! So here we go. So we're in the game. So a couple of things to talk about firstly. Controls are very, very nice. For a game that's kind of a, a platforming game, of course, a 2D side scrolling platform action adventure type game. Controls very, very nicely. You've got a couple of things you can do. You can do your jump. You can obviously do your, your walking around. If you do, like, say, jump and then press down, you can do your, like, shovel diggy diggy. You can also use your gamepad to, like, do diggy diggies. And um, along the way, you'll find relics. Relics are, like, magical items that you can use. We can also look at our gear. And our that's by pressing the back button on the gamepad. I never remember what that button's called <laughs> on the Xbox gamepad. Um, so yeah, we can look at the relics that, um, once we get what well, I think we'll get one soon. They do magical things, like we've got one that can do, um, like shooting a fireball, one can do like a kind of like, um, like giving you a period of invulnerability. Now we've got our little enemies, we can kill them. The pots we pick up, they are like, um, magic, like mana potions. And of course we've got our gems. The gems, what we need to pick the gems up for, it's not just high score, we can actually buy things in the game, so there are things for purchase. 
and you can probably notice the music is tremendously good. One thing, um, so if you go past an enemy, you go back, the enemies will respawn. They tend to not respawn with stuff um, in, in money terms. They'll always spawn, I think, if they've got like magic potions, they'll respawn with them maybe once or twice. Hmm. But money, uh, money's like a one-time only thing, so once you get the money, that's you kind of got the money, and you can't go back and like farm the same area for, for your stuff, which would make the game too easy, which is a good thing. So we're going to run along, and we're going to use our shovel, we're going to kill these enemies. Nothing here is difficult, this is the first level that's going to tutorialise most of what we're looking at. Um, I really enjoyed the pixel art, though, like the, the kind of back settings where you see the, the, kind of the tower in the background. Now, of course, you'll see parts of the environment that you can obviously break. These things, for instance, we'll just do a diggy diggy down, and then we'll pop this stuff up and grab all our gold and our stuff. Um, now, there are secrets, lots of secrets. Um, we can do a, a bot. In fact, is there any secrets here? There's no secrets. So we can do a bop on this bubble. Again, teaching that you can do things like that, bop, and you can get to higher heights. And all in all, the first area is really, as I said, just a tutorialization. There's not going to be anything that's tremendously difficult. Um, even the boss in this area is, like, piss easy, to be honest. The game does get harder as you go on. Um, can I get in here? No, no secrets. We'll wait for this platform to come back, and we'll grab the stuff. And what we want to do is collect money so we can buy things like, you can buy um, health ups, you can buy mana potions. Oh, this guy needs to get in his face quickly. I don't even know what he is, it's like a dragon or a, a or something. Yeah, he's a dragon, isn't he? We're just bouncing his head. Easy enough. We'll grab the stuff. We'll pile up more stuff. And um, we'll, we can pick up food. Food will be like a health up so we get like roast chickens and have a skull, my friend. There we go. Out my sight. And you can pick up like carrots and cherries. Your usual video game like, food stuffs will be for health, of course. Now, what, what we're looking to do basically is just get to the end of the level and fight the boss. That's kind of the general idea of most levels, but you get other things. You get like a town set and you can go to. The town you'll go to and you'll like buy stuff. You'll buy armor in one of the towns, you'll buy like health ups or mana ups. There's also like a special level where you'll go and you'll visit a, a particular guy that will help you out with potions. I don't want to go too much into this stuff though because I don't want to spoil it for people that will buy the game and play it. Because there's a lot of stuff in it that really... I didn't think the game would have as much depth as it, as it does. Which is a, a, a big bit of praise for the game, certainly it was... I imagined it would be good, I just didn't think it would be this good. And I really want to find things to like... At least mention to be like, ah, this is something I don't like, because then it would feel like a fair like critique. But at the same time, there's very little about it that I don't like, and I'm being completely honest. Um, I know sometimes I gush about games, but this one in particular is really, really good. Um, so yes, we'll progress on, little beetle man. And I think we'll have, um, so yeah, there's like slimes, there's a little dragon dude over here. What were you doing? Oh, you're just stuff. Where are my secrets, is what I'm wondering about. Where, where, where are all the secret things? There are secrets, trust me, I just need to find them. <laughs> we'll get them eventually. There, oh yeah, one of the things I did pick up there is like a song, or a song sheet. We um, can collect, one of the collectibles you've got is song sheets, and you can take them to a bard in one of the towns. Aha, uh -huh, okay, now, we, now we're talking, now we've got stuff going on here. Um, is that something I can break up there, maybe, possibly? Oh, there, there we go, that's a secret. I, if ever I see, oh, stop digging down before we lose the secret. There we go. So you see like little bits in the walls, like little notches, and they'll be things we can destroy. I want to try and get all of this stuff. <laughs> as best as. At my sights line. There we go. Let me get the stuff. The gold, the gems. Because we will use that. We'll use most of it for buying things. And of course you've got your little dinner plate thing here, which is your... Chicken. We'll get a health up. Man, I've only got four health. That's not a lot. <laughs> That's nothing compared to what I've got mother character. Checkpoints. Now we have checkpoints here. These um, checkpoint, like, you know, staff or statue things, um, th there's like six per level, I believe. Um, they're fairly liberal for, for the levels. Um, when you die, you will lose part of your gold. And this is kind of like the Dark Souls side of things. So when you die, you'll lose um, uh, three bags of your um, of the monies you've collected, and um, you have to go and pick them up again. Kind of like you would pick up your bloodstain in Dark Souls. Only that um, if you die again without picking them up, you don't get that gold. Your gold is just reduced permanently, and then you'll get more um, more reduction if you die again. So yeah, it is a lot like Dark Souls. You would lose your souls if you die. Only in uh, Shovel Knight, you don't lose all of your money if you die. So there's a secret here. Hmm. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? I don't think it is. I think this is just a legit secret, secret town. What do we have? Oh, another song sheet. Don't mind if I do. So we collect the song sheets. There's... Um, a bard in town you can go to and you can ask him to play you songs in the town, you can listen to all the music in the game. I've found maybe half of them, or maybe not even half of them in the mother game. I found a few of them anyway, and um, there's one in particular that I'm I'm like really in love with, <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. There's um, a kind of like a, a story progression um, 
set piece bit at the end of every level you complete where you're like sitting at a campfire or a bonfire, which is another kind of Dark Souls-y vibe that I got from the game. And it plays this song and the song is like legit beautiful and it makes me very happy to hear it. Now that chest, I'm sure I, I have not figured out how to get that chest yet in all of the games that I've played so far. I'll piss off dragons. Bounce on this guy's head. I'm, I'm fairly rattling through this um, just because it is, it is relatively easy. There's not a lot here to kind of moan about or to say about. It's all kind of for your kind of first level vibes. There's not really much going on here. I need to kill this guy quickly. Right, dragon, let me bounce in your face. There we go. You just stay still. Well, oh no. Okay, that's fine. Man, I'm gonna have a lot of stuff by the time I finish this. You also get other levels like a kind of um, like a, a gem, a gem level where you can go and collect lots of money. You get like um, random encounters through the levels. Kind of like uh, that's for the Super Mario World 3 or the the um, is it Super Mario Land 3? I can never remember. Super Mario World's the SNES one. Yes, Mario 3. We'll just call it from now. <laughs> There's, um, like, enemies that will roam the world map that you can see, and it kind of reminds me of that where you can, like, walk into them and then you'll get, like, a, a random boss encounter or a boss encounter when you hit them. I'll grab that as well, and we'll get up here and we'll grab the stuff within this pile of dirt. And really, as I said, I find it hard to pick bits of the game that I don't like because a lot of it is... Well, most of it... All of it's good! Where would I even start? Um, maybe there's, there's a, a bit of repetition with the enemies, um... It's not to the point where it detriments the game because it suits the style being a kind of old style Nintendo Entertainment System type game. You, you don't imagine it to be full of, like, I don't know, random elements and different enemies in every turn of the game. I mean, it's all what I would expect the game to be like. And I think what they've done with the old style and the new, making it making it feel fresh but still feel nostalgic at the same time, they've done a really good job. And I, okay, here's our first boss encounter. The Black Knight. This guy comes up, he recurs quite often through the story. So I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. Uh, the Cerulean Coward? Is that how you say that word? I don't even know. Should learn English at some point. <laughs> Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Um, so stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? The entire valley... Um, has been conquered by the Enchantress, yes, yes. We'll, I'll skip through the, the, the text stuff so we can just go and do some things. So, we're gonna have to fight this guy. He doesn't have a lot of health. We can just do a, a couple of bouncy bounces on his head and he'll be fine. So every hit we do does half of a, a, a health orb, would you say? Um, now he's got a couple of different attacks. We can, I think we can return those back to him. I'm just gonna just try and kill him as quickly as possible. Um, you shut up, Black Knight. Oh, he got hit and I'm sad. And I tried to use magic there, remembering that I don't have any. Right, no magic, let's just do it the old-fashioned way. There we go. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And one more will do him. There we go. Easy enough. The bosses do get substantially harder as you go through, and your relics and magic will be more and more important as that happens. Mm-hmm. So he runs away. We are finished. And this is the bit that I love. It's just tremendous. I'm being silent because I want to listen to the music. You get like a dream sequence. It's like the shield knight. It gives you this little like... <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, no. There we go, very good. I love these little dream sequence pieces. It's all just for story, I'd imagine, and then we wake up and we, we jump up. That's us. We are... Oh, what's going on? We were asleep. First thing I've done was I'm like, I'm going to dig that fire. You get an achievement for doing that, by the way. Um, I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. Um, <laughs> but I feel like it should be stated that you can do it and it's good and it gives you gold. So here's where we get to the world map area. I won't go much further than probably the town because that'll be enough to kind of talk about what we're doing. So we've got... Um, the town we need to visit first, the village, and then we've got some areas we can look at. You can see the two queues above and below the town. They're both levels we need to approach. There's the um, the kind of lock looking ones. They will open up as we complete levels. And um, we'll go to the village though because we have to. So halt. No weapons. Um, we have enough to worry about lately with everyone swinging swords around. Oh ha! That's not a weapon. That's just a shovel. You may enter then. So yeah, we're getting slagged off by the guy. We press up to talk to people. They say things. Everyone's got like a kind of little bit they say. 
Um, it's weird, there's like, like animals and shit and like this, like, I don't even know, are you a deer or an anteater or something? You've got a parasol or a parasol. <laughs> Here's the bard, okay. Simple bard, I'll just skip through the text. You can read all this if you buy the game, which I recommend that you do. Um, so we've got two music sheets, we can sell them to the bard, he gives us a thousand gold for that. And if we talk to him, we can bring up a place, a song thing, and you can pick songs, like a decisive blow, or... No weapons here, that's the town song. What did I pick up then? I got 20. That's the first level song, and then I got 21, the rival. That's like the boss, I think. We'll go with Strike the Earth, because I like that one. Let's look at the happy lady here. We can go up here. This is where we buy our health and our mana. I'm not going to bother with that at the moment. You can do that all on your own. You basically speak to the goatish. In fact, we'll speak to the goatishian, because I like him. There we go. We'll, we'll buy a meal ticket. A thousand gold for a meal ticket. The Gotishian, he's a good guy, he sells us meal tickets. We go and speak to Mealman, the gastronomer. We give him the meal ticket. What he'll do is he'll cook us up a little a little fancy meal. Come on, you rascal. There we go, and we can pop you open, eat that meal, we get an extra life, so we get a health up. Um, this lady here will sell us um, mana ups. No, 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 no. I've, I don't have any relics anyway, you can wait there till later. And we've got like, little bits, like, little townspeople, like this the hedgehog man. Hoop kid and hedgehog man and not hoop kid, hedgehog man. Hedge farmer. So he's like, Are you really the shovel knight? Can you prove it by digging the start? Yes I can. And he'll be happy when I do it. Look look how happy he is. He's a very happy lad. It's small little attention to detail like that that I really enjoy about the game. Um What am I doing? Okay, I'm talking to you. I'm gonna jump on your back. Sorry about that, love. Um there we go. I want this chest. What have you got for me, chest? There we go. And there's like a ram man here, he's like a I don't even know what you are. What are you? Sir, you're not a fisherman. No, you're not a fish. Not fisherman. Him, this guy, grizzled seer. Hmm. Yeah, he, he just sells. Uh, says the usual kind of like, oh, beware, bad things are afoot. We have got a couple of options. We've got different levels here. Oh yeah, I should, I should probably take that song back to the other dude. Um. Now, should I go and do another level? Should we do another level? Oh, I suppose we should. What one? What ones we got here? We've got the, the scepter knight and the. The King Knight. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look at the, this level as well. This one's quite a good one. So th this is kind of like the first actual level, I would say. Hmm. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. I think it is. I'm going to leave this alone then. You can go left in some of the levels. Just remember that. But you should know these things because if you've played games of old, you'll know these things. These are things that happen. Um, so we will progress forward. Again, the, the enemies are mostly the same as what we got in the first area, but there will be some differences. We got any secrets? Any secrets for me? No, not at all. Okay, then we'll go down here. Bish, bash, bosh, and... Okay, th this guy's new. He, he's like a, a an idiot, basically. He killed himself. This kind of introduces more environmental hazards, like these lava dispenser things. Oh, hello. Okay, let's be careful of that. And they become more prevalent as you work through the game. You'll get areas where you'll have a lot of shit going on, like a lot of things falling in your face and burning you, or ice, or like... There's one with like poisony bits, with like sludgy bits and slimy bits and bouncy bits. No, oh, there's all kinds of fancy stuff. So each level has its own like kind of unique twist. Its own like unique environmental hazards and its own unique enemies. But there's a lot of like repetition between the... Um, some of the enemies, like the little beetle guys, they seem to be in every level. We'll go through here, um, we will wait and we will go. Okay, let's climb up here. I could probably rattle through this one as well quite quickly. Um, I don't want to spend too much time going through like every secret and every bit because that would remove the fun from everyone else that wants to play the game. Um, I should watch, oh, right across the forehead, but we're fine. I would like magic from you. No, not magic from you actually. Ah, I think we actually get magic here. I'll probably do this one just to show the magic off. Are you not magic? No, you're not magic. There is magic in this area, I'm pretty sure there is. Somewhere, so we get a little checkpoint. Hmm. Indeed, we any secrets? No. So, who? Oh, or maybe I missed. The, maybe the magic's in the town. Well, me not knowing what's going on is probably good because it means that you get to do all this fancy stuff. These guys, you find different variations of the same type. So, so this guy is like a kind of easier version. There's one that's a bit harder. There's one that does like multiple attacks and multiple swings. You can usually cheese them by like getting them to shield up above their head and then just popping them in the side when you come down. All relatively easy stuff, you piss off. I need to use you actually, you're going to be my booster to get up here. And you'll find a lot of that important, using enemies for your own wicked benefit to get stuff. So another checkpoint, not too difficult. Um, I want to, oh, that's going to, that's going to hurt, first damage, but that's fine. Can I get up there? I can't, you're going to fall down, yeah. 
Whoop. Watch out. Oh, and we'll try and get up here. Yeah, there we go. Do we get anything for that? Just a bit of gold. That's fine, though. We're collecting stuff. I've got 6,000 gold already. That's a lot of health ups. Aha. Okay, now this looks good. Whoop. And up. Whoop. Okay, so this, of course, you would stand in front of it thinking, that's the same as me. How's it we do it? Okay, there we go. We, we, we press a button. I'm not going to tell you which button it is because that removes some of the fun. And I believe this is our first encounter with our relic. So we get this guy here. Chester. He lives in chests, apparently. So, do you want to see it? Yeah, okay. So we can buy the flare wand. So it's telling us you press up and X to use, and that will be our way to, to use our magic. So basically we can fire a, a fireball. And you'll get different kinds, like some are defensive, some are, in, I, I don't know, some are offensive. Some help you with, like, environments, like to traverse certain areas. Um, oh no, that was a bad... <laughs> it's a terrible decision, Tom. Why would you do such a thing? Um, so as you see, we lost some bags of gold. Which we'll go back for in just a wee second. Oh, piss. I think if we touch spikes, we die in one, um, like, just for touching the spikes once. So we need to be careful of that. No, I want these gold bags. Oh no! Don't die again. Don't die twice! Oh no! Okay. I got my gold bags. So that's kind of like your Dark Souls Bloodstain kind of idea mechanic going on there. You can pick up the gold again once you've dropped it. If I was to die again, then that gold would disappear and I'd have a new Bloodstain somewhere else. My health is very low at this point. I'm gonna just pop you with some magic. Whoop! There we go, very good. I'm gonna grab the, the stuff. You just probably just churn through them. This should be health. Oh, it's a bomb! That's the, the, the opposite of health. Well, maybe not the opposite, but it's not health in, by my imaginings of what health is. We'll hit you with a couple of fireballs. You got anything up here you're hiding? You are hiding things, you rascal. I should probably be careful and just go up here. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of these sections. Oh, fuck. Get, get, happen. Oh, oh, happen. Okay, there we go. There's a lot of these areas where you can go and investigate and you'll get gold and various other pretty, shiny, trinkety things. And really they're all just to like, enhance your person. Ah, okay. This was the correct way to go then, I guess. Oh no, oh, I, I remember now. This is basically where we would have been if we'd went up the ladders a second ago. So we'll continue on. Progressing. These guys are dicks, I don't like these guys at all. How do I do you again? Oh yeah, in the face. In the face, there we go, one of those, one of those. Oh, I've had on it a magic, I have. Kill him! Am I dead? Ah, oh, I'm dead. Oh, that's, that's a bloody travesty, that is. <laughs> but as you see, we start back here, that's fine. There we go. Oh, there's stuff up here? Okay, fair enough. Now, Griffin Man. Where, where do we start? Is it here that's the place to stand? Yeah, it is, okay, that's the safe zone. Oh, I've run out of magic, okay. And we killed them anyway, that's fine. Easy enough, we'll pick up the big chicken bit and that'll be us fine. We'll rattle through the remainder of this level. We can use these guys actually for our own... Oh, benefit. Oh, god damn it. That is no fault of the game, that's me just being bad. Why is there a skull at the end? Is it because I died? Well, at least we died, like, right next to the bloody thing. Right next to the checkpoint. I can grab my gold bags. There we go, we want to do a, a little tower up here. There we go. What have we got here? Um, well, there are secrets up there. You can go and do that on your own if you want. Again, I don't want to spoil any, like, like game secrets for people that want to do that shit themselves. But it gives you an idea of what you can do to find different areas in the game. There's a lot to experience, there's a lot to find, there's a lot... I, I can already see another secret. I'm not going to say where it is. You can probably work it out yourself. There's probably two here, actually, that I can think of. Probably one on to the left and then one in the mid-left. Um, so there's a lot to investigate and there's a lot of collectibles to get. The achievements we'll look at in a wee second as well before we wrap this video up, because the achievements are pretty cool. They are actual achievements, they're not like your your new style achievements, like, oh, you, you've beat the boss that you had to beat anyway. Good, good going, good achievement. It's more like, yeah, complete the game without taking damage kind of shit. <laughs> I mean, it's like difficult stuff. Any secrets? No. We should be almost finished this one. We've got a magic book that we can jump up here. Oh, book, please. There we go. Book and oh, that's gonna do that shit. Not happy. There we go. We'll just bounce across your boom. There we go. Boom and steady, steady. Speed. Oh no. Faster. Need more speed. Oh no. Oh no. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost there. 
I don't know why the flames change colour. I think it's based on the number or the amount of gold that you hold at the time that you get the chest. Or the, the checkpoint, rather. I don't know what else controls it other than that. Oh, oh no. Oh my god, I wasn't even pressing down. Now I'm starting now, now I'm starting to look bad because this is an easy level. It's easier said than done though. In fact, what are you? You're a secret. Let me have your stuff. Oh, you're a, a another path that I don't want to go. See, it, uh, part of me wants to collect all the secrets because it's within my nature to do that. I'm a person that likes to hoard all the secrets. I like to get everything in a game. Um, but for the sake of um Oh my god, I've done it again. <laughs> I keep thinking I can stand on the book when I'm talking. Oh, it's a travesty. We'll be fine though. We'll, 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 we'll prosper. Oh my god, I've lost like 2,000 gold. That's bad. At least this isn't my main saver. I'd be sad. So let's get through here and let's not embarrass myself any further. Let's bounce on this. Right, okay, let's do that. One, two. There we go. Bounce. Oh, hello. Yep, there we go. One more, one more. Oh, no, no. Oh, thank fuck. At last. Right, get me some food, please. The chicken will do. I don't need anything else. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, let's continue on. Um, where's the safe zone? Right here? Yeah, okay. So you'll notice there are safe zones with these enemies and you'll get these like individual bosses, like these mini bosses. Oh my god, I've... Oh, dex. Okay, that's fine. No potion? No. There should be potion somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. And a checkpoint. Lovely. Okay, and, and this is the last boss we'll fight. Mm-hmm. I'll just skip through the text. Again, you can read it if you want to, in your own time, when you're playing the game. So we've got the boss. The boss guy here, he's like the, the King Knight. He's like uh, a guy that shouldn't actually be on the throne. There's a king in town that you can go and speak to. He'll be happy once you've defeated this boss. You, really, I find in the early bosses, bouncing on their head is probably the easiest thing you can do. Later on, you're probably better using your magic. This guy you can cheese, pretty much. I'll use a bit of magic now. He's pretty much dead. I've got no more magic left, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. There, one more. One more! There we go! Easy bosses. Later on, not so easy, though. So we get some gold, and, um... Yeah, we get our little cutscene at the end, which I enjoy, as I said. I think the music's perfect. Like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I've said it before already, but I think it's fantastic. And that reminds me of Dark Souls a lot, the whole sitting at a bonfire resting business. There we go, we're up in the morning, let's get up, let's get our gold from our bonfire. I don't know why we're sticking that in our fire, it makes it a bit strange. And um, we'll get back to the world map, I believe? And hopefully we'll have these random encounters appearing. Ah, oh, there we go, yes. So, kind of reminds you of Mario 3, that the, the guy, if we if we were to step onto the square that he's on, then that'll of course trigger the fight. Um, and the last thing to check would be the feats, or your achievements. You've got a lot of different achievements, you can see the ones that I've got here, so... Um, so it helped all the Mitchells in the fancy shop, you've got things like um, Finish New Game Plus, which is a good reminder that there is a New Game Plus option that you can do once you've completed the game. Um, defeat all of the wandering uh, travellers, um, Let's see, finish any stage without taking damage, finish the game without dying, that is an achievement! Um, Penny Pincher, finish the game without spending any money, um, finish the game without falling into a bottomless pit, destroy every possible checkpoint in the game, all this shit, I mean look at this stuff, this is good achievements! Purchase all available shovel blades and upgrades, things, um, let's see... Hang in the air for more than four seconds using the dust knuckles, interesting! Uh, you'll see here, defeat five foes at once using the war- THE WAR HORN! Dear lord, that sounds excellent. Finish the game within one hour and thirty minutes. There's speedrunning stuff as well. Oh, it's got everything for you. There's everything that you'd possibly need. And this is a big old list of achievements that you've got here. Anyway, Shovel Knight, thoroughly recommend it. And it's going to be out today um, on Steam. It'll probably hit in the next couple of hours from when this video goes up. But yeah, certainly check it out.